Here's how to automatically generate captions or subtitles in Premiere Pro. I was offered five grand for a video, but this is when I was like 19. Before we dive into creating subtitles, you'll need an audio file or a video that includes audio. I was offered five grand for a video, but this is when I was like 19. Our goal is to generate captions automatically based on the audio content. To get started, select your clip and head over to the text panel. If you can't find it right away, try looking under the Windows menu. Once you're in the text panel, locate the Transcript tab. Here, you'll see a button labeled Transcribe. Click it to have the system automatically convert your audio into text. Ideally, the transcription will match your voiceover perfectly. However, sometimes minor adjustments are necessary. If that's the case, just click the pen icon to make any needed edits easily. Next, let's move on to creating captions from this text. Click on the caption icon, which will open up a caption window. If you need to tweak any settings, click on captioning preferences. In this section, you can customize the format and style. For now, we'll leave these settings as they are, but I do want to adjust the maximum character length and duration. You also have options to set the gap between captions and choose whether to display them in a single line. Once you're ready, click Create Caption to generate the captions. You'll see text layers appear on your timeline, synchronized frame by frame with the audio. To refine the appearance, go to the Essential Graphics panel. Here, you can adjust the font size. Personally, I prefer using the Mr. Beast font, and you can find a link to download it in the description. However, feel free to choose any font that fits your project. Let's bump up the font size a bit more. In a real project, avoid using excessively large fonts. For alignment, click on the center alignment button to horizontally center the text. You can change the text fill if you like, but I prefer using a stroke. Set the stroke color to black and adjust its width to 14. And this is what you'll end up with. I was offered five grand for a video, but this is when I was like 19.